Next, we're going to do format check on the postcode. I think the one I did before was the phone number. So this is going to be the postcode one. So again, we go to design view, select the menu button from the input mask, and we can edit it from there. And let me go down one slide. Typically, this is the postcode I am going to use for this one. I know there are different postcodes. For example, some places in East London simply have E and 1, and maybe the 3, uh, 4, GH, for example. I know that's a thing, but I'm going to focus on this one. And then from there, you should be able to figure out the one that you need for yours. Postcode is not something that might need an input mask every time, but I'm just going to still show it just in case something comes up. So here I am in my database. I'm going to go to my customer table. I just created a postcode thing here just so we could test it. So I'm going to go to design view. I'm going to go down to postcode and I'm going to go to, where is it? Input mask. First and foremost, we could actually change field size. I think the typical field size is going to be, a let's just put eight. No one can go over eight. So three, then a space, then three afterwards. Yeah, that sounds all right. Then I'm going to go down to input mask. I'm going to click on the dots again to bring this menu up. Oh, save the table first. Yes. I'm going to click on postcode. Go next. And I can enter what I want here. So again, S. So letter, letter, number, number, space, uh, letter, number, sorry, number, letter, letter. So L is for letter, zero is for numbers. You can work it out from there. There's typically a space in between as well. So when I come down here and I try it, I can try SE13, 1PJ, I guess. That works fine and it doesn't allow me to type anything else. Let me do that one, one more time. SE13, 1KL, keep typing nothing is being entered so we know that one should work fine i'm going to click finish well let's go to next i'm going to have it um, without the symbols in the mask so just in case you had any extra symbols there i would remove it just so it's easier to search for stuff later on you can leave it exactly the same it doesn't really matter click finish and this is the postcode that i have well the postcode input mask i have very simple very straightforward but just please 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 make sure that you look at the example postcodes that you've been given. The main thing for postcode is probably to not leave it blank. So I'm just going to do the is not null rule here. Validation text, postcode must, uh, cannot be, sorry, postcode cannot be left empty. That's the main thing. Postcodes do differ, but I think most of the fields that you type information into again must have is not null. Uh, because if the data is not complete, it is not usable. Now, please, please, please make sure you read the exam paper properly because the exam papers for task one, task two, task three, they will say exactly what is needed and the person or the database should not be able to continue. You should not be able to save a record if this thing is present. If the postcode is not present, you cannot continue. If the email address is not present, you cannot continue. That simply means is not null is necessary.